Binge Pipe Customer Support Party Line. Hi, I'm locked out of my account. Hey, is that the same bald man who was in the other scene? Hi, I fast forwarded it too far. Can someone tell me how to rewind? Anybody near Dallas, like, want to make out? I'm sorry, is there a Binge Pipe representative in here? Representative. 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 You'll figure it out together. But is it the same? Oh, okay, it's a different bald guy. Thank you. The following Binge by programming is brought to you by Liquidirt. Liquidirt. Dis Binge Pipe is... Bringing back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Customer satisfaction isn't not our goal. Hey there, Cookie Masterson is the name and this game is my game. You know, with this many players, you lose some of the personal attention. So I just want to say, player six, I see you, and you matter. And since we've got an audience, how about we make this interesting and add an audience bonus to every question? The more audience members get a question right, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really tanks it, that right answer is going to be worth big bucks. And so it begins. Time for question one. First, Zeus's Build-A-Man Workshop. Which combination of these mythological hybrids would result in a regular full man? Head of a griffin, body of a centaur, head of a merman, body of a fawn, head of a sphinx, body of the minotaur, or head of the chimera, body of Pegasus? Okay, let's take a look. That's a lion head on a winged horse body. That's a human head on a goat's body. A sphinx has a human head and a lion's body. The minotaur has the head of a bull and a man's body. Now all you have to do is sew them together and voila, you've made an abomination. And how'd the audience do on that one? Good news! This audience is clueless. That means that right answer is worth even more. We'll see if your luck holds out. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Try this on for size. Can I get those digits? Some people prefer online shopping to retail, but I've never had to remember a password to get into JCPenney. What could you order from Amazon Prime if they only shipped quantities that were prime numbers? 33 prime rib steaks, 45 buckets of paint primer, 49 Optimus Prime action figures, or 53 Primus CDs. Let's see who got it. 33 is divisible by 3 and 11, so it's not prime. It's more like the ground shuck of numbers. 53 is the only number on the list that's a prime number, which is a number that can only be divided by 1 and itself. Unlike my love of primus, which can never be divided by anything, Mom. Why do we do it with 3? Behold, mixtapes and marmalade. And what goes with that better than a dis or dat? I'm gonna list seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's something that happened to Paddington Bear in the delightful family film Paddington 2, something that happened to rapper Lil Wayne in real life, or both. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between Paddington, Lil Wayne, or both. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Born in New Orleans. Raised by his Aunt Lucy.
Jackson. Y'all kind of stunk up the place, but you geniuses, you really dropped the ball. Binge Pipe has detected a suboptimal player experience. Oh, that means it's screw time. Haha, <laughs> that's correct, Binge Pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. In retrospect, we should have had you sign a waiver before handing over sharp objects. I don't need you anymore. Oh, here's a good one. Nocturnal Ambitions. Which entry from my dream journal is clearly a wet dream? Sexy cotton spinning, sexy knife sharp. Oh, this'll be good. Player one decided to screw. Let's see how you do without vowels. So what'd you pick? Glass. I said glass blowing. G-L-A-S-S. -S. So dirty. Sexy cotton spinning is definitely in my dream journal a lot, but it's still not the correct answer. <laughs> to wet something like a knife is to sharpen it. This question is making my knife block hard. Nice screw job, player one. Have some cash. Next, The Legend of Zelda's Epidural. Say there were a video game in which the player's goal was to successfully go through labor. What instructions would pop up on the third stage of the game? Press B to put... Well, well. Player 5 just dropped a screw on you guys. Hope you brought your spectacles. you guys pick? The placenta is expelled during the third stage of labor. Also, this game would cost $37,000. Nicely screwed, player five. Here's your extra cash. Say goodbye to round one. Remember, these numbers also serve as your personality rankings. Currently, player two is in the lead. Player four, on the other hand. Wow, you are really doing it. Poorly. Looks like someone needs a little more help. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using that thing. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. Really good stuff. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. How about this one? Prepare to be softly rocked. What's the softest rock? The Telking Heads, Quartzny Love, Gypsum Fort. What's this? Player Four just screwed the room. Get ready to stand on your head.
love this part. Talc is a one on the mineral hardness scale, which means you can scratch it with your fingernail. I love rocks so soft it gets stuck in your head and under your fingernails. Oh, excellent screwing player four. Spend this wisely. Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. Set. Feast your eyes upon this. The cost of car ownership. And hey, stress cut with mime sore. It's time for a Need Miss Miss None. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, here it comes. Look at the gibberish phrase and tell me what common phrase it rhymes with. Parking? Yep, a strong fee. And don't let that punctuation fool you. You're looking hard. But not in the right place. I can't stand the suspense. What is it? <laughs> Moving right along. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. There is no hiding from metal heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. If Metallica recorded a song about the most abundant metallic element in the human body, what would it be called? Enter Sodium, Master of Potassium, the Magnesium Remains, or the Calcium of Cthulhu. Okay, what'd you pick? Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Calcium is the most abundant metallic element in the human body, most of it found in bones and teeth. Na, 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 na. Here we have that binge pipe customer satisfaction feel. I can't believe I had to say that out loud. Pipe recommends. Because your LinkedIn profile shows you took a job in Silicon Valley after taking time off playing house and working in the office, you might enjoy Thomas Middleditch, Martin Starr, Kumail Nanjiani, or Zach Woods. Hope you like what you picked. Zach Woods starred in all three TV comedies, Playing House, The Office, and Silicon Valley. Let's try CSI Just Desserts. Okay, you just murdered someone. You don't want the proof to be in the pudding. That's the first place they'll look. Where could you hide the murder weapon? Inside creme brulee, inside a haggis, in spotted dick, or in a Christmas pudding? Okay, who chose what? Hmm, let's see, we're looking for something that is not a pudding, and this one literally says it's pudding. Yeah, wow, I'm stumped. Oh, grow up. Why don't I save you all the embarrassment? Creme brulee is, in fact, a custard. The other things generally taste like ass, but are technically puddings. Time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. 
and more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may you! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Brand name faces. I hope you know what your brand mascots look like, you capitalist drone. <laughs> Two's got it! Congratulations, Player Two. Come on down and claim your prize, which is my respect and admiration. It has zero monetary value. You don't know Jack! It's me, Evan Jacover. You might remember me from Evan Jacover, best friend for hire. Well, as it turns out, there's not a lot of money in the friendship business, so that's why I've decided to rebrand myself. Today, I'm proud to introduce my new business venture, Evan Jacover, bad boy for hire. Does your classroom need someone in the back of the room to scoff at the teacher while resting their legs on a desk and wearing sunglasses? Is your party missing a mysterious and stoic stranger smoking in the corner? I might cough up a storm, but I'm up for the task! Does your small town need a lovable renegade who vandalizes the sheriff's office with washable paint? I can do all these things because I'm one bad boy. I'll wear a leather jacket that's a little too big on me. I'll ride one of those motorcycles that has two wheels in the front. I'll pull out a switchblade. <gasps> that's really a comb. I'll do all these things because I'm the baddest of boys. Are you a woman who doesn't yet realize how strong and independent you are, so you think you need to be with a troubled soul? Well then call me, Evan Jacover, bad boy for hire! Whew. I hope I don't really have to smoke. 911, what's your emergency? I think my husband's dead. He's been shot. Okay, where are you? Fort. 1442 Willow Street. It's going to be a few minutes before an ambulance team gets there. I'm going to give you instructions in the meantime, okay? Okay. All right. The first thing I need you to do is record the murder scene. Get a few different angles and maybe add a slow pan to wall of family portraits. Oh, yeah, that'd be really nice. What? Ma'am, please stay calm. We need you to film a few things for the potential true crime doc about your husband. True crime? 
time, Doc. What are you talking about? Ma'am, I need you to calm down and listen. It's crucial that we get some B-roll right now, or, you know, production is gonna drag on for this project. I am not filming that! Well, then, can you at least get some footage of a neighbor acting weird or saying something cryptic? Or um, could you get some footage of maybe a crow flying from a telephone wire landing on a fence? Thank you.